Chapter 1. The Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Now, the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic essentially states that every whole number can be expressed as a product of primes, and that prime factorization is unique. For instance, 12 um, can be written as a product of primes. It's 2 times 2 times 3, and so 2 squared times 3 is 12, and that's the only way you can write it except for changing the order of the of the numbers around which so that's the fundamental theorem of arithmetic now from this we get a way of working out common divisors of two numbers and this is called the euclidean algorithm now here i'm going to use the euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common factor of 48 and 120 so i start with the largest number and i rewrite it as something times 48 add a remainder 48 goes into 120 twice, so it's 2 times 48. That makes 96, so the remainder is 24. And then I do the same with 48 in terms of 24. Now 48 is 2 times 24, add 0, and when I get to the add 0 bit, then that tells me that this number here is the greatest common divisor. So 24 is the greatest common divisor of 48 and 120. Now I can write 24 in the form something times 120 and something times 48 will equal 24. Uh, I'll call that A add B. Now how do I do that? Well it's essentially working backwards. Okay, so working backwards, 24 equals, this is from the first line, 24 equals 120, subtract 2 times 48, and that basically is the answer. Okay, here's a slightly more difficult uh, question. Start with the largest, 1890, that equals 2 times 826. Now I haven't got a calculator, but that's 1652, 1652, 16. 60, 1690, so that's there. Then 826 must equal uh, 3 times 238. Uh, I wish I had a calculator at this point. 3 times 238 is, oh god, 714, I think. So add 112, then 238 equals 2 times 112, that's 224, so I need to add another 14, then 112 equals 14 times 8 would be 112, that's it, 8 times 14, so 14 is the highest common factor. Now working backwards, I do this in a different colour, working backwards we get that 14, this is from this, from this line here, 14 equals 238 minus 2 times 112. From this line here, 112 equals um, 826 minus 3 times 238. Um, in that space here which is a bit, of a bit of a pain, so that becomes um, minus 4 times 238 plus 4, so that gives 5 there, like that, that's really rubbish, that says 5, uh, 238 from this line equals 1890 minus 2 times 826, Subtract the other 2 times 826. And if I've done that right, we get the final score. And the final sh score should be that 14, the highest common factor of these two numbers, is equal to, reading off from the bottom, 5 times 1890. Uh, now I need to subtract 12 times 826. And hopefully that is correct. Alright, I've just checked. There was a mistake there. Um, see if you can spot it.